I am going to explain about the comparator designing using VHDL code. If you want to get my future videos, subscribe my channel. Coming to the comparator, it will compare the two given input binary signals. A and B are the input signals, then it will give us the information either A greater than B or else A equal to B or else A less than or equal to B. If A equal to B, so just it will give us uh, A equal to B is high and remaining will show zeros. If A less than B, so then it will show A less than B equal to high and remaining will show zeros like that. So just assume that uh, that is a equal to 4 and uh, b equal to 6. So means here a less than b. So b is greater. So that's why it will shows a less than b equal to 1 and remaining will be it will shows 0. So of course it will write in the form of binary numbers. Coming to the code you can see this. We need to give uh, a and b are input signals. A and B and it is a 4 bit that's why it, we need to show 3 down to 0 and A greater than B and A less than B and A equal to B are the outputs. So here uh, coming to the code you can see this A greater than B then uh, it will A greater than B equal to 1 need to show and remaining will be 0 here you can see this remaining will be 0. If a less than b, so a less than b equal to 1 and remaining will be 0. If a equal to b, a equal to 1 equal to 1 and remaining will show 0. So this is about code and uh, we will go for execution, open the Xilinx tool. So go to left, file, go to file, new project, any name you can give it here, I am giving comparator, new, click on next, click on next finish. So here you can see this. Again new source. Click on VHDL module. Any name you can give it here. I am giving EC. VHDL module. Here you can give any name. Click on next. And here we need to give the inputs A input that is 3 down to 0 because it is 4 bits. B is an input that is also 3 down to 0. And remaining R, you can see this A greater than B. Output A equal to B, A less than B. These three are outputs A greater than B. A less than B and A equal to A equal to B. So these three are the outputs. So just mention the outputs. Click on next. Finish. Yes. So these are the then write the code here already it is there so here it is two times is there so this is the code and then save it control s and go for left side synthesize xs3 check syntax after this we need to go for view rtl schematic
is successfully executed then go for view rtl schematic so this is the implementation part we are uh, doing so start with the explorer wizard or else uh, second top level block so any one we can go with any one so click on ok and create schematic so this is our required schematic so then go for left side implement the simulation part click on simulation so here click on that then behavioral check syntax iSIM simulator in that behavioral check syntax then simulate behavioral model so this is the simulation part first part is completed schematic part then this is the simulation part here we need to give the inputs you can see this so a 3 down to 0 b 3 down to 0 so these are the output so I am giving here right click force constant I am giving that is 0 1 0 0 means that is 4 apply ok and b value I am giving 4 bit b values force constant 0 0 1 0 means it is 2 apply ok then click on here run for the specified toolbar minimize so you can see this a greater than b we have given you can see this a greater than b equal to 1 and remaining will shows 0 a greater than b so I am giving one more value again right click force constant I am giving equal values 1 1 1 1 up ok b value also I am giving same value force constant again same value I am giving 1 1 1 1 apply ok again run again here so we can see this a equal to b equal to 1 a equal b is equal to 1 it will showing high and remaining will show 0 0 so and one more value I am giving a less than b so here click on here force constant I am giving 0 0 0 1 means it is 1 click on ok and b I am giving force constant 1 1 0 0 I am giving click on ok again run yes so here you can see this that is a less than b it will shows high and remaining will shows 0 like this we can do thank you if you have any suggestions please send to me